Alright, how's everybody doing? Uh, I have requested a tutorial on how to build, or at least on um, how I, you know, I build. I'm doing this in 009 because, you know, I already have a bunch of equipment in it. And I think 010's out with the big engine change, but it's uh, pretty laggy. I haven't really tried to build in it yet, but I will show you exactly how I build in Deadly Year in general with what we have. Alright, first off, there are four tools that you're going to use. First one is the hammer. And you can, uh, you know, place your wood in whatever position you want. Press the left click and it'll hammer down. It'll stay there. And then you can right click it and it'll un hammer it or whatever. It'll take it off so you can move it again. You have uh, the small hatchet. You also have the sledgehammer used for pounding stakes into the ground. And then you also have the, the fire axe, which is just pretty much the, the hatchet and the fire axe are the same thing. Now the places you can find axes, hammers, sledgehammers, or uh, the hatchets, usually in garages, you can find all four types, otherwise they'll be randomly placed around, and you can find them sometimes in rooms, but mainly garages where you're going to find all of them. Alright, here we're going to go over to get wood. Like right here, I didn't chop down a tree to get this. This was already here. You can find wood in garages sometimes. You can find it here, like on a house. You can also get them from trees. You can either use either hatchet that you have. And you know, you just keep chopping until it falls. And you can get an assortment of wood. Really, it's random how which wood falls once you chop it down. Yeah, there we go. And now we're going to go over the types of wood. You have a large piece of supply wood. You have a small piece of supply wood. You also have a long 2x4. Alright, that was small ones. Small ones, when you see them, like this, if you just click them, it will go into your inventory. If you hold them, then you can pick them up. This is the small 2x4, and then, where is it, this one. You have the medium 2x4. Now, this is currently all you can use right now. What I'm using in 09 is still all you can use in 010. Alright, now we're actually going to go to the building part. You can just uh, eye it if you're that type of person. Easy way, you know, hit on the ground. I've, I take a lot of patience in building. That's what I've learned that you need. You need to look at it both sides, make sure it's straight. But, yeah, you can pretty much only do it when the hammer's out. It's not doing it right now, because the hammer's not out. So let's go over here. You, you, you gotta attach it to something pretty much, unless you're using some stakes. And the stakes, you know, you also have to make sure they're portionate and all that stuff. You can use the ground and like walk forward, try to get it straight. Now this, will, this takes a lot of patience, you can just go fast through it if you like, but I'm the type of person that likes to take my time with it. So I did, I mean, it's not too straight, but yeah, it's straight enough-ish. But this is what I like to do. I like to get one piece really straight. I'm gonna get, try to get this one straight. Shit. Yeah, that, that building which I made took a lot of time and patience. 
Yeah, that's that's very pretty much straight I'm gonna get. This is what I like to do. I like to take two by fours. If you can get it right. Sometimes it's hard to see where they are at. You pretty much just place it on that. And then you go grab another one. And you place it up top. Now you don't need to do this. This is just the way I like to do it. Shit, most. Because it makes it a lot easier when you're trying to build a wall. And the boards will spaz out at times, do some crazy stuff. As you see, that's pretty much very good. So now all you would do is you know, throw it up against that. And you don't have to like try to straighten it out perfectly anymore. You just need to get in line with the other board. And it, it will, you know, do some weird little movements. Yeah, you can do all that and you can take those off if you want. And also, you know, do the same thing, but with the sledgehammer. And just hammer this down if you want. And those you gotta work with. I don't really like using the sledgehammer. The only reason you'd really need a sledgehammer is if you're in the middle of nowhere and you don't have like a, a house. It's pretty much start off from now another thing that's a pain in the ass just trying to make the, the roof part yeah put it up here you really have to work with this and just like learn to do it yourself because it will get very frustrating you know just move it back and forth try to get it perfect and if you see what I'm doing right here look they have the, the house and it's got the, the siding so you can see kind of what's straight or not so yeah I'm gonna stomp that in see if I got any like little edge going over I do I mean, if you want some edge that's fine. I mean, you you can keep your edge, but I mean, other than that, you know, you can just move it out of the way and retry, or you can do something like this. Get it flat first. Yeah, use the ground and walls if you want to like make something uh, perfectly flat or the side can do is put it on the edge a little bit, hammer it, and you can see right there you got you get that edge now, and you can just try uh, just placing it right on that. So now that's pretty much perfect, and then you can take that off if you want. You know, using these 2x4s is very helpful when you're trying to get an actual, you know, straight wall. It took me a while to figure that out. You know, I mean, it does do a little extra work, but compared to, like, you know, you placing this perfectly, and then you trying to place this perfectly along with that, and then another one, another one, you know, you just keep doing these these 2x4s along whatever wall, and you can just put it up there, you know, just scoot it in as close as possible, and it goes a lot faster. That's something I have learned. I'm gonna pass on to you guys. Uh, the roofs, you know, completely different story. You can do the same thing if, I mean, if you want to. No, not that one. Uh, let's try it. The roofs are a lot more difficult, but I mean, yeah, you pretty much you get a board that you want. Pretty much straight as possible, use that. That's kind of the, the 
pendant, and then you just uh, ah, these long ones are a bitch. Yeah, you just use that to keep going with it. No, I mean if well, th this one right here, it's not perfectly straight. You know, it's angling down a little bit. But I mean, it's straight enough. I'm not gonna make it all perfect just for this tutorial. So not yet. But as you can see, you know, this don't really look pretty even. But yeah, whatever. And then you can just throw this up. And then you can keep those ticking down, you know. See how that's not exactly perfect, because I didn't place these exactly perfect. But you get the general idea. Next order of business is a ramp. You're building a ramp. You know, I don't really care right now. I'm not really planning on building anything crazy, but you know. I'll throw it like right here, some shit. Uh, ah, stop. Fucking move this. It's my way. You gotta build it next to this shit. Actually, before I do that. It's good to start with this if you'd like. You know, just so you can start it off. This is not really what I use to build ramps at all. I basically. Just place your uh, first 2x4. You can use. Whichever, I mean, not 2x4, though plywood. Use whichever one you like. And I, uh, take this and tuck it under. Just kind of hold X and push it forward. Make it flat. And you can do it the other way, too. And you can do it from the top. But I like the bottom easier, because you can tell more or less if it's straight or not. I mean, yeah, you can, you know, put the edge, edge to edge, you get it perfect, but it's a lot faster just to do it, put it under. You ever want to get flat, you know, you just pull it into it and it'll flatten. Yeah, that's not exactly straight. What do you get the idea? You can, you know, work on it, make it straighter and straighter. Come up here. You can, you can use the 2x4s, so I just don't do it. I've never used them, because it's, it's really simple. Just to, you know, place a 2x4 and just visually keep placing the, the shit on that and make it perfect. I just don't really care. And you're gonna have to watch out at times, like, mattering how you make it, you might get to the point where, you know, you get stopped, like, you, like, can't move up, or you can't, like, go down, and you're gonna jump, and maybe, because this, this happened when I was building, uh, this, this happened when I was building my fort on top of the Schwartz, you know, I get, I get stuck, and I just need, I need to, I just jump, and I fall off the whole other thing, and I almost kill myself. I'm gonna finish this ramp, cook some food real quick. I mean, like, 
Yeah, you can work on it yourself. Let me get relatively straight. God. Grab it like this or some shit. You're gonna need to be ramps if you wanna like bring the furniture up on the roof too. See right here, I can't even so you're gonna jump, you might fall off. It's just cause it's got a little edge right there. It's quite annoying, but yeah, you can keep building, do whatever you like. I'm gonna get some food real quick. Alright, well, while I'm getting food at my place, I'm going to show you, you know, how I did the same stuff. That's what I showed you guys. The fencing, I'll show you guys how to make kind of like, you know, an actual like, fucking fence or rail or whatever the hell. But you see what I mean? I pretty much made this basically flat and perfect. I didn't get too into it, but I tucked it under a little bit, went up to that one. Made sure that there's no little uh, little edge coming off, so you can actually go up without having to jump. Same with this, pretty much. All the way up to here. All this stuff. I mean, it's basically the same. I didn't actually use these pieces of wood to you know, make this perfect. That was I, I pretty much made all these walls before I even found out. You know, it was an easier way to do it. I mean, you see right here, this, this part's not really perfect. I, don't, I didn't get too into it, but this is the first part I built this little, you know, these four, these four, or, yeah, these longer four, those four. This is the first thing I built. So this is actually, like, you know, it's not as nice as the rest. It's not as even and, you know, spaced out good. But I, I mean, I tried to fix it, but I already started building everything around it, so, you know, it's kind of a bitch. Same with all this, you know, the railings, I didn't really try to fix them, because I didn't want to screw everything up, but yeah, all these aren't really that perfect. I could go back and fix it, though. I don't really feel like it. Yeah, I got all this furniture up and shit, because I had a, a walkway. Going all the way down there. And basically, yeah, it's just trial and error. You know, use all my my tips as best as if you want. And then just you know, really just figure it out for yourself. That's that's like the main thing. Like once once you figure out how to do it yourself, you'll get it. Like. You can take like, fuck, I mean, I used to take like five minutes to actually just try to get a board perfect, you know. But that that's that's when I didn't even realize I could use these pieces of wood, you know, to, not these ones in general, but the ones I showed you over the other place, to get it literally just perfect in seconds. It's a lot easier to do that way. A uh, very good thing to know. I've already, I did this already, but if it's starting to get dark, it's very hard to build. So you do slash login just in the, in the chat slash login default. That would make you a server admin, and then you can do slash set day, and you can do dawn dusk or whatever. But uh, yeah, once it starts getting night, you can just skip the night completely. Hit slash dawn, and you know, be a moment of like blackness, just like right before it changes. This is 09, so like it literally drastically changes. But uh, yeah, now it's dawn. You've pretty much all day to keep working. You don't have to you know, sit there doing nothing at night because you can't see Jack. Jack. 
trying to, you know, transport all the stuff. I'll go over the transport first. You can individually walk it all over. Or, this is an 09. I am not sure about 010. But I figure out a method. You kind of just you hold the cursor kind of a horizontal. Uh, it takes a little bit to do, but you sprint. And then while you're sprinting, you just release and it'll throw if you do it right. Another thing to know is it's pretty good to clear out all the zombies in your, you know, in your area because while you're building they will come up and start breaking your shit. And then every time, at least in 09, I'm not sure about 010, but when I was building my base, every time I respawned there'd be, you know, a couple, maybe two or three zombies who were back in my area, even though I cleared it out. And I mean, you just gotta watch out for them, kill them, make sure they don't destroy anything. And another vital piece of information is planning, where you want to build it. Because this is what I found out when I built my base, which is all the way over here. Pretty much built it around, you know, maybe like 10, 20 trees. All those trees over there that you see in the distance, they're not actually there. It's just, it's some of the 09, you see them, but they'll disappear as you get closer. My base is on that fort, or I mean, my fort base is on top of the swords. It's pretty much, I took out all these trees, and then ah! I found out I was using a lot more wood than I thought it would be. Yeah, all these trees are gone. Okay, I keep going closer, they're just gonna disappear. Yeah. Um You know, you run out of wood and then you need to start I need to I took all that wood over there too. And I had to run all the way over there. Run all of them all the way back. So you really want to plan where you're gonna do it so you don't have to, you know, keep running back and forth with all this fucking wood that you have. Because it just gets really annoying and tedious. That was probably the worst part of it all. Zombies weren't even that bad once you cleared out the place. But, uh... I mean, yeah, I built it on top just so the zombies wouldn't even break my shit. Because that was, that was pretty mean of them. Yeah, you. Here's another tip, if you want to bring furniture to your base, ah, oh, this house sucks, oh, we're good, if you bring furniture to your base, you can figure out yourself most of the furniture, you're not going to be able to drag out the door, it's just, it's not going to happen. So here is what you do, and I'll show you through another window. It's easier to push these than to pull. So if you can't push, go ahead. I'm sure. Usually there's the double windows. And it's very simple. Yeah, just get two pieces of the smallest uh, 2x4. Bring out your hammer. Just make a little, little ramp. Weird with the window too. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything like beautiful. Just get it up there. Uh, don't worry about this this middle part of the window. All right. Yeah, that's out. Now you get the refrigerator too. Now I'm actually not 100 sure sure about. Uh, think about this window. So I'm going to test that right now. Oh, <coughs> oh shit, that scared the fuck out of me. God damn. Alright. Oh. 
Ah! I got bitten. Uh, hope I don't die. Too. Same with these. Just throw them out when you want to. Alright. Here's another tip. Um, when you build your shit, you know, you make. The furniture never moves. Really never moves. Food, you know, ammo, guns, clothes, all that shit will, you know. If you log out and log back in, it'll spaz and like go places. I used to have like, well, pretty sure it's all under here, but I used to have like a bunch of crap. And I mean, it's just everywhere. I mean, especially on top of the swords. If you build on top, I'm not sure about those roofs, but if you build on top of swords, some stuff will fall through the roof. Like, we'll, we'll go in here, we'll probably find some random shit that just fell through. You see, yeah, all these zombies just randomly spawn near my base now. Yeah, I mean, the food, the backpack, you know, just, just random shit, it'll, just, it'll fall through the roof and stop the shorts. So you should keep that in mind when you're thinking about where to build. That fell through, I mean, the shorts is good because zombies can't get on top, but... Stuff will disappear on you. Just keep that in mind. Here's a another good tip. Cause when you pick something up, so I'll show you. I'm picking it up right now. See that second before like it kind of lifts towards you. You know if you want it flat like that, or if you have like. Some other thing where once you pick it up and moves, and it's not how you want it anymore. But if you were just to keep it dropped, it's exactly how you want it. What you do is right when you pick it up, you hammer, and it's right there. Some things to keep in mind about the 2x4s the longest 2x4, you know, no matter how many uh, you place. Place three small two by fours. It will not equal the length. Let's place two medium two by fours. It will not equal the length. But if you place that will move. If you place one small and one medium. It about equals the length. You know, just a little bit you know, longer, but that's as close as you're going to get if you're trying to measure out anything with this. Some things to keep in mind about the plywood. The large plywood length it will not equal the length of two small plywood, but the large plywood width will equal the length of the small plywood. Alright, other things to keep in mind with the plywood and 2x4s. Two medium 2x4s do not equal three small plywood or two big plywood. But uh, one long 2x4 does equal the two big plywood. So keep that in mind if you're trying to build something. Alright, now that we have a ramp up to our roof, you know, you can build your little, your little house up there, wherever the hell you want to build. But, uh, I'm gonna go build, show you guys how to build a rail real quick. Alright. 
there's no real flat part. So I mean, yeah, you can make it flat. You know, build your little plywood and shit. Make it flat. I'll just build it right here. Pretty much, make a rail. You should you should plan it out. I forgot the length you need. Like this isn't long enough to go you know, all the way to both ends of that. And it's too long for this. So basically, what I would do is just measure it out. You know, you're gonna build. I still want to be able to get up on that. Actually, I'm gonna fix that. I'm not gonna build this perfect because I'm just trying to get it done real quick. But I'm trying to make it relatively flat with everything else. I hope my mic's not muted. Oh, thank god, that would have sucked. <laughs> just did a fuckload of recording. Yeah, so you should know small plywood is as long as the width of the large so that that can help you out when you're planning on building some stuff yeah, you can place on top of that, get it flat again you know, just walk up into it, try to push it figure out where it ends See, this is a little tedious stuff. This is why, you know, it's good to have little rails, little 2x4s below it, so you can just get it perfect quick. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I'm just going to do it just to show you all. Alright, I'm just going to go with that. And it's relatively fine. Take your rail. It's basically what I'm gonna want. That's the length I want. So I'll drop this down. Now these are pretty. Uh, I'm gonna test something out actually. I'm learning new stuff doing this. Alright, well it doesn't go down. That's that's the only problem. It doesn't make it straight perfectly. Let me see right here. If you do it in the ground, it's gonna make it perfectly straight. Although the sides might not be exactly what you want. So basically Whenever you're building on your own wood, you're gonna have to do it yourself. You know, turn it, push it on the on the wood, and try to you know, get it very good. You're gonna have to learn to use the X because it can get weird at times. But once you learn the X, it is very, very helpful. See, that's not straight at all. I just want to keep working at it. It's hard to really get the angle right. It's just because you, you can't move. are one of the, you know, the harder things to do. I really 
don't even try to do them that much. Yeah, that's, that's basically what you want. I mean, you can do the same thing. You know, get some pieces of wood, get that first straight one, and then you know, kind of put wood along it. Try to help out. But, I mean, I wouldn't even really do fuck with rails. It's just more of a decorative thing. I'm not even gonna... You know, I'm just gonna keep it like that. I'm not even gonna try to do it. Hey, once you get it, you just throw it up. I need to back off a little bit so you can use X properly. I'll throw it up, use X. Just try to get it as straight as possible. Or as parallel to the tops as you can, since these tops for some reason aren't perfectly in line. You get a rail, you're not gonna fall off. You can put a lower if you want. I mean, you can place those lower even if you're that you know, scared about it. I don't see that eye. Yeah, you can do something like I'm saying this because I'm not sure about O10. I haven't really built in that at all. Like, at all. So, O10 might be a completely different building. But yeah, I mean, you can place that like that. You know. Take all this shit off. I really don't like 2x4s because they're a lot harder to tell just by eyeballing it exactly what they're at. Alright, yeah, so yeah, you can do that. You can lower. Pretty much, I mean, it's really just your preference. Put it firm behind. You must put it in front. It's easier to see. Basically, yeah, it's like that. Alright, just throwing an idea out here for bed. You can, you know, elevate it. You want, you change it up however you like it. You know, place medium 2x4 to keep it in. Put on a little, uh, little elevated spot, a little ramp up to it. Just really for decoration, that's really it. Another very useful thing, but probably the hardest thing to build is a uh, is an armory. Because no matter how you build it, for some reason the guns, they like, fight against each other. It's really just the guns though. Much what I've come up with. I'm trying to fix all that. You know, this this little armory wasn't. I didn't design it with a good measurement or anything, so it's not perfect. But I can basically show you what I want. So I mean, you can place it right there. No! 
you see when I play a sail, like, it's not even touching it, but it moves it. It's like you gotta, you gotta like work with the stuff. You know, set it up bigger area so you can put more stuff. And you can, you know, put your ammo up here, pistols or whatever else. All right, well that is basically everything I can tell you that I've figured out so far playing the game. Um, I mean, there might be like one or two things I might have forgotten. I'll try to you know, tell them to you some way if I remember them. But you know, my opinion on this type of building, like how you can build all this stuff, I really like it. You know, you can't snap to the angle, even though that would be you know, helpful. I agree that'd be very helpful, but. You know, it shows dedication and skill, really, when you have, like, a perfect house, but you can't snap to angle. You can't make the perfect degree, like, you took the time to do all that, so it looks really good. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I can tell, all I've figured out. It's my knowledge to you, and I uh, hope you guys build some great stuff. Hope I can see them too.